Somebody tell me it's beautiful. I need my. I need some endorsements here. I need some motivation. Need scroll. Go ahead. All oh, the colors are wonderful. Uh, I'm, I'm very, yeah, insecure. Color. very insecure today. Okay, first thing. I had a guy this morning talk to me about marketing and his Wi-Fi kept going out and, his, and he had trouble with his phone and everything. Get good. You want to get rich? Get the one thing that we can spend money on in this business is good equipment. Please mm -hmm. get the best equipment. Forget about all the things with, with, that we waste money and time on. You want to be successful in business. You want to get rich, get good equipment. I had a soccer coach for my kids. He said, focus on the focus. Okay. Focus on one thing intensely. You want to make your business work. You want to make money. You want to be financially free. Focus on that one thing. How many people here are like a, a, a two week old puppy with a new toy like me? We jump around. We, you know, I'm, I'm so easily distracted. It's one of my faults. Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't get, don't be easily distracted. Let's, um, uh, let's talk. The, uh, pardon my language. Once again, ladies, the person who said money th isn't everything is an idiot or never had any. Okay. <laughs> okay. Money, money makes your life better. Uh, someone once told me money makes a good person better and a bad person worse. Mm -hmm. okay. Money makes you, money makes life convenient. Yes. Okay. It's, it's one, it's wonderful. Uh, it, 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 it resolves problems. It allows you to be a better person. Um, recognize opportunities when they manifest themselves. Okay. Like Hervik was talking about this deal he had. It was a, it was a great six figure deal. I don't think he mind me sharing that. He jumped on it right away. He made an offer right away. How many of us are, when we see an opportunity, the little uh, devil and angel get on our shoulder. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it, Jessica. Don't do it. It might not work. Don't do it. Even mm -hmm. though you know you've done your homework, you're a smart person, you know it, it has a possibility of working. Just mm -hmm. sometimes are we too cautious? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not saying being all lemming and, and go off the cliff with the other 10,000 geniuses uh, who are buying Bitcoin. Oops, that was opinions. Oh, oh, that was judgmental. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm trying to take the higher road here, but recognize good opportunities. Learn every day. Is school is never over. I know we all graduated from PS 152 in Upper Manhattan, but learn every day. <laughs> Read things that are important. I did go. Anyone else here from New York, uh, part of the New York City school system? <laughs> okay, do what I did. Marry smart. Marry. <laughs> Get a or get a significant other. Get somebody who enhances your life, who adds to it, who makes you happy. Who also has who also has a really good nursing job and has much better credit than you do. Uh, <laughs> I can tell the truth. I'm old enough. You know what's great about getting old? You can tell that you, you can you can get a little crazy and tell all the truth all the time. Does everybody have one crazy grandma? who says whatever comes out and sometimes it's embarrassing as hell. Does everybody have that? Mr. Emmon, you have that grandma, don't you? I hope you do. <laughs> maintain, this is common sense. You want to get rich? Maintain excellent credit. You didn't need me to tell you this, did you? Maintain your credit. We're in a society right now. I meet so many people that ru they, they ruin their credit and everything. You know how it's, it's really great when you have good credit and you get a great deal, you're going to need $25,000, $100,000 cash real fast to make another $100,000. Are you prepared? Do you have great credit? Life is just easier with good credit. When you can whip out that Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, and there's no questions asked, there's no embarrassing moments. Life is just better. It's easier. That's how you get rich. Maintain your credit because that's the tool for success. That's a tool for doing it. Don't, don't ever take that for granted. I sound like, I'm sound like a lecturing parent today. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. this is, this is good. stuff. So real estate, I make Claudia and I found security and freedom in real estate. I think it's the best investment uh, ever. Our own home is our number one investment. Okay. That's got to start it. A set other properties, little um, um, single family homes, condos, townhomes, good homes, good neighborhoods, Learn the strategies of real estate. Save up your money so when you find that, that motivated seller, that good deal, you have enough option money, down payment, whatever you need so that you can get into real estate. Because if you buy real estate today, good homes in good neighborhoods, 
What, where are you going to be financially in five, 10, 20 years? Jessica, tell them your story. My story? Oh, gosh. Started with nothing and now <laughs> I can't tell everyone my story. I, I, that was unfair. I apologize. <laughs> You're a I, did smart okay. I did okay. I'll just say that. And I'm modest. Okay. I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell it. I know the details. <laughs> 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 I, I apologize. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. But you're you have success, and you've, uh, you've been in real. Yeah, I've had a lot of success. Yeah, I, I I was I was kind of I had an irrational fear that I'd be homeless because I I have some some health issues. So I was I was scared I was going to be homeless. So I started investing in real estate first of all with my own home, like Claude said, and and then I was given an equity line, and uh, and then I bought another property from the neighbor. Uh, we, we wheeled and dealed and uh, then I um, put a renter in there and then I that was when the market was going strong so I well and 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 again now it is too it usually is isn't it and so I so sold that and made a hundred thousand and then I went into another property and that happened a few more times and then I went into commercial real estate and bless you so I'm, you. I'm all I'm all set up now so who's ever sneezing hit your mute button or get a tissue okay <laughs> <laughs> um, Jessica just reminded me of something else on my little list here. Health. I would give up. I would give up everything I own within reason, rather than be have one day of sickness. Mm-hmm. Being mm-hmm. healthy, taking care of yourself, is one of the twenty eight ways to get rich. But, yeah. and, that, and that really ties into what, one of my most important rules. If I can find it, let me see here. Um, it's my definition of success. Where did it go? The gut's definition of success. Hmm. Um, this is something I believe in. It's in, in my books, most of my books, that uh, to, total success, financial freedom, comes when you don't need the materialism, when you know you don't need everything, when you'd be willing to give up, lose everything you have. There's the leaf blower. Can you guys hear the leaf blower guy outside? <laughs> For those of you, I told you if you make me president in the next election, I will execute the man who have, who invented the leaf blower. <laughs> Maybe not execute him, but I'm going to put him in a room with ten kids with leaf blowers. <laughs> I'm outside the window here, it's like perfect timing. I'm only on for one hour on a Monday. <laughs> they're just like they're like that fly that won't go away. <laughs> Absolutely, that's, that's definition of success is that. It's not about accumulation of wealth. It's about knowing that you could lose everything and make it all back again in 30 days or less. You could be back on top again because you have the sales skills. You have the, the confidence, which is one of the, uh, one of the uh, balloons I have on here. You've got to be able to know that you've stu- if you study, I love studying successful people. And what do they all have in common? They've had setbacks. They've had failures. Mm-hmm. They've had tremendous challenges, family, health, all kinds of things. Yeah. Economic, uh, upheavals and everything, but they always come back. Yes. That, what is it that they have that always come back? They have the knowledge, they have the drive, they have the confidence. To be, and, and that, and that's, that's faith. they have faith, faith in themselves and yeah, faith, faith in themselves. Yeah. I like resilience. That resilience who said yeah. that that was good yeah miles. i like that miles thank you okay um learning I'm curious about your uh, crypto your thoughts on crypto oh where um where do i have that it's up <laughs> to the last oh, right here. uh avoid a bs you guys know what that means gurus trendy nonsense uh closed caption cryptocurrency that uh <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very subjective. You can disagree with me. I think that- I don't know uh, what to think on it. Do you, want my, do you want my un, unrequested- re- uh, you want yes. my <laughs> Yes, I do. I think uh, I'd rather invest money in real estate mm-hmm. or in other things. I Cryptocurrency scares the hell out of me. I'll just yeah. leave yeah. it at that. I feel the same. Um, it makes me very nervous. I know a lot of people putting a lot of money into it. I'm being very polite. Oh, good. I hope you did your homework and research and stuff. Uh, I, I've been around the planet. I've been on this planet a long time. I remember Enron. I, I've seen a lot of these mm-hmm. Ponzi schemes and stuff. And cryptocurrency, it seems that anybody's smart enough to, to make one up and do the right marketing. And there's no accountability. or It, it makes me very nervous. And I know all Not the best. arguments. 
Um, my advice to people is um, there's better things to put your money into. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you can afford to lose, right? Yeah. I mean, if you want to have a good time, go to Vegas, uh, take $500, say, I'm going to lose it, but I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have free drinks. I'm going to go to the buffet and gain, gain 10 pounds. That's, that's okay. Uh, well, maybe not the 10 pounds, but the thing is, uh, don't, you know, Einstein said, uh, God doesn't play, uh, doesn't roll dice with the universe. Mm. Don't, don't do things that have an, uh, uh, that have a, a very high possibility of losing money. What it goes back to the emotional rule here. Oh, guys got me on a soapbox here. When you get emotional about something, what's one of those emotions about money? Greed. What mm -hmm. happens when we get greedy? Does this shut down? Mm -hmm. We, yes. do we, uh, what happens? Did you ever go to a guru and you ask the tough questions? Show me like the license. Whose license plate has show me? What is that? Um, Missouri, right? Show me. When you have, do you ever go to somebody and say, well, you've, you made all these statements. I'm going to make all this money and everything. Could you show me? Could you document it? Do you, uh, can, you give me, can you give me some proof? And they get mad at you. What does that tell you when they get mad at you? Run away. <laughs> Run away. Bullshit. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. They're giving, you, they're giving you lip service, right? They're giving you lip service. Mm -hmm. Got to get moving faster here. Um, but you know, work hard and smart. Uh, be so, oh, be superb in in sales. Mm -hmm. You guys know that we talk about that every week. Be your communication abilities are the key to making a lot of money with your product, service, real estate, whatever you're in. You've got you've you've got to be great. You've got to be a, a good communicator. Part of that good communication is confidence. We talked about that earlier this morning. Um, you, there is no shortcut to success. I'm sorry. Anybody who tells you to get rich quick, the only thing you should do is get quickly away from them. <laughs> you, can, you, can get, you can get wealthy slowly. Okay. Everybody works hard and you got to work smart too. And you got to have a lot of confidence. Confidence is key in this business. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to be your own cheerleader in life. Watch for trends and culture shifts. We talk a lot about this on the Monday group calls. Okay, there's a lot of, we, we're seeing, who is, has anyone seen anything like the last 24 months? The dramatic culture shifts that we're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, in business, in, in, in communication, we're seeing great changes in these shifts. Some are gonna last a long time. I think we're getting out of the office. I, I talk to a lot of young people like Sergio and stuff. They don't wanna work nine to five, put on a suit, <laughs> drive in traffic and sit in a little Dilbert cubicle. They don't want that. Mm -hmm. and not, and companies are having, why are companies having trouble hiring people right now? Too much unemployment money. <laughs> That's part of it. That's going away, though. We're going to get back to that. <laughs> but a lot of young people do not want to go back into that stodgy corporate environment thing. They want to work. They want to work and they want to make money. They just, but they don't want to live. A, they don't want to be in a in a, an environment that's so uncomfortable to them. But many of them, entrepreneurs. Well, many of them too have seen what the work life has done to their parents, and they don't want that life. Well said. Oh, we got a we got a superstar here, Mr. Canada, Dr. Five. I recognize that wonderful voice. <laughs> yeah, many many of them don't don't want, and they they leave jobs if they're not happy. They're gone, they're gone, and even more so now. Like, look at companies like Amazon in the states; they're paying extraordinary amounts of money just for people to sign up for them, just a bonuses. So people are leaving jobs. If you're watching the news, more than ever. Com people are leaving companies at a historic rate, historic rate. Mm -hmm. this, is this is a culture shift, right, doctor? Absolutely. This is not only a cult, this is a generational shift. Yes. This, this is going to last for many, many, many generations. So adjust. And as Claude does, Claude keeps on the trends. Pay attention to what's going on because the better you know your clients, needs, wants, and desires, the better they're going to become your clients. Mm -hmm. And there's some major shifts going and recognize these shifts and, 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 and adjust to them. You can't fight a culture shift like you're seeing right now. And if you ask yourself, if you were 21 again, and you were going into the marketplace, um, what would you want for your life? You want to make money, you want a certain quality of life, and maybe, and, and this is just things that happen. 
and adjust for it and recognize them and you'll and you'll be part you'll be contemporary you'll as i always say to tashi you'll stay cool mm -hmm. okay. uh keep what you got if you earned it if you saved it hang on to it don't lose it don't give it away save small amounts every month even if you could save 25 50 dollars if you can throw some extra money against debt consumer debt or a mortgage paying over and above that and maybe give up a dinner out or, or something or a toy that you really don't need. You're reducing your debt, your loan to debt ratio. You're building up your credibility, your credit and everything else. I gotta move real fast here now, but avoid consumer debt, okay? It's the number one American trap. We get those cards, we run them up, we 18 to 28% interest, what happens? Do, is that the death of success? Yes. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's not that I'm against debt. I, but smart, some debt is worth it. And so, do you really need the? Uh, do you really need that porcelain Mickey Mouse uh, candy dish uh, for eighty five dollars that you bought on the shopping channel? Okay. <laughs> okay. Better to take that eighty five dollars and pay and throw it against a mortgage or something like that. Mm. Absolutely. Um, mm. I, I got this. <laughs> All right, this yeah. goes back to the next one. I got this from Claudia, and she never curses. She said, "Don't buy shit." Don't buy, yes. stuff. don't buy stuff you don't need. And fit. You know, we're the only society in the world that has to get store, that has to rent storage centers because we bought all this shit, pardon my language today. <laughs> we got to store this stuff that we don't need that we're paying interest on mm -hmm. and everything. I and mean, we're the only society that needs other places to store all the garbage that we don't need. Be a little, mm -hmm. look up minimalist. There's a big mm -hmm. social trend right now on minimalism. Mm. I'm living with, on the things you have and getting rid of the things you don't need anymore. Yeah. Okay. Health, we talked about that. Nothing's more important. Take care of your health prior. You know, mm. It doesn't matter how much money you have if you don't enjoy every day and feel good about it. Mm. I think every day I go out and take a run, I look up in the sky, I say, thank you, God. Another day of my being able to run in good health, okay? Mm. Um, success and failure leave clues. When you, when you have people telling you about stuff, ask questions. Gee, if you're so smart, you're successful, why are you driving a 1972 uh, explode on rear impact Pinto? Um, you know, ask, look for the clues, ask the tough questions. Try to stay by the Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be ostentatious and we could do a whole set, I could do an hour on vanity and stuff. But I think if you're doing business with people, Mm -hmm. and you're not well groomed mm -hmm. and you're driving a, a beat up old rust bucket uh, what do you think let's be honest about human nature what's the decision what goes on in people's heads when you make a bad impression about the way you groom and the way things you drive and the way you look yes uh, is, is that human nature i'm sorry it sounds judgmental Mm -hmm. Okay, but do people make judgments uh, when and you're doing business with people? What's the judgment you want them to make about you? That you take care of yourself and you you care about your appearance and you want to make a good impression on them as well. Yeah, you mm -hmm. are responsible. We have, that's one of the balloons on getting wealthy, getting rich. Is mm -hmm. you are responsible for creating that environment. So when people look at you, they say, "Well." person's driving a nice car they you know they dress nice they look good look comfortable um um this is somebody maybe i should listen to maybe this is somebody i should i i it's human nature you have to recognize it whether you agree or disagree recognize human nature in the way it is spend 30 minutes a day on creative marketing every day 30 minutes uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, like Randy was talking about, mail some letters out, make some phone calls, put up a TikTok one minute video. Can everybody here do a one minute TikTok or Instagram or um, YouTube is now doing YouTube shorts. Can everybody do a one minute video on what you learned here today? Yes. Okay, take a one minute and, and then do your little commercial at the end or put in your in insert for your web page or your phone number and say, hey, I do real estate, I, I can do, I can solve your real estate problems, call me. I buy, sell, invest, and consult in real estate. My name is uh, Joe Blow, give me a call, I answer my own phone. Can everybody do a one minute short video? It's gotten even, I'm gonna do that maybe next Monday. We're gonna talk about the new trend. Has anyone seen the trend, what's going on for one minute videos? Have you mm -hmm. all seen that? Mm -mm. No. It's called TikTok, it's called Instagram, and YouTube just jumped on it with YouTube Shorts. We're going from three, four, five minute videos to one minute video. Mm. Why? 
People people's don't have atten- time. Yeah. People's attention span is shorter. It's so it's in the advertising industry. And Claude, you, some of us will remember there used to be days where commercials were 30 seconds and 60 seconds. Now they're 15 seconds on television. And they haven't improved, and they haven't improved except for the Geico commercials. Exactly. <laughs> love, love the Geico commercials. Surround yourself with positive, successful, uplifting people. Anybody here ever met Debbie and Dan Downer? <laughs> what? How good is it to feel good every day? Listen to music. So yeah. read, read successful books and watch. Watch uplift. I hate uh, anybody here. I hate books with ha- uh, with sad endings. I hate mo- I hate movies with uh, unhappy endings. Mm-hmm. I, that's just me. I like to feel good. What happens when we feel good and we're energetic and we communicate with people? What happens? Is that contagious? Yes. We want to draw, feel- po- draw other positive people to us as well. Draw them. So be around positive. Should we? What, what about learning from successful people? Yes. Somebody's microphone is taking away. Not me. Okay. But surround yourself. What happens when you hang around with winners? I mean, legitimate, decent, hardworking people. Winners. And you win as well. It rubs off on you. It's contagious. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's, the, it's the best disease in the world, enthusiasm. Does enthusiasm sell? Yes. Yes. It really does. We want to be around that kind of person. We also want a certain amount. Guts is also about, uh, you know, why I love the gut system. It's so damn honest. Mm-hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, can I tell you the truth today? You're making a horrible mistake. If you were my, my own, if you were a member of my own family, I would tell you the same thing. I think